Howdy folks, my name is Mark and I'm a creative content specialist at Fishing Booker. And today we'll be talking about everything you need to know before you buy a Texas fishing license. Since Texas offers such a wide variety of fishing packages, it's important to know which one is right for you. So today we'll cover the most important things you need to know before you buy a fishing license in the Lone Star State. This includes where you plan to fish, your target species, and your state residency as well. We'll also cover the various types of fishing licenses that there are, uh, the costs, exceptions, and where you can buy them. Then hopefully after watching this, you can spend less time looking for answers and more time fishing. Unlike Florida and many other states, Texas fishing licenses are not included in the price of your trip if you're hopping on a charter or a guide service. Uh, anyone in your group above the age of 17 will need to buy a fishing license when you're fishing in public state waters. So this not only applies to fishing with a conventional rod and reel, uh, but also things like bow fishing, catfish noodling, uh, and even things like netting and bee hooking. So just keep that in mind before, before you hit the water. Also, depending on where you fish, you'll either need a freshwater or a saltwater endorsement. So saltwater endorsements cover the Gulf of Mexico and tidal waters, uh, while freshwater endorsements cover uh, rivers, streams, lakes, and any other bodies of freshwater. Also keep in mind when fishing in federal waters, you'll need a Texas fishing license if you plan on bringing your fish back to shore. So if you're gonna enjoy a nice lunch with the family, uh, keep in mind that you will also need to buy a fishing license in Texas. So Texas fishing licenses are sold in a variety of packages and the prices vary depending on where you plan to fish, how long the license is valid, and whether or not you're a state resident. If you already own a specific fishing package and you want to add more fish to your bucket list, you have the option to buy individual tags and endorsements. So for example, if you own a saltwater package and also want to fish in freshwater, you can buy an add-on freshwater endorsement rather than an entire freshwater package. Also, be aware of any additional tags you may need. Like for example, if you want to keep a redfish that's longer than 28 inches, make sure you have a red drum tag. Saltwater fishing packages actually already include one of these uh, upon purchase. This rule applies to all anglers, including those exempt from carrying a license as well. Once you reel in your catch, just be sure to remove the tag from your license and attach it to your catch immediately. Now, there are some exceptions that exempt people from having to buy a fishing license. Uh, some of these include fishing from banks and piers in Texas state waters, as well as the state's annual free fishing day, uh, which is the first Saturday of every June. Uh, there are also exceptions for persons with mental disabilities who fish under the supervision of a licensed angler, as well as disabled veterans who may be entitled to the Disabled Veteran Super Combo Hunting and All Water Fishing Package. There are of course many other exceptions on the book, including one for senior citizens born before January 1st, 1931. This also applies to Oklahoma and Louisiana state residents who are above the age of 65 and have the necessary documentation to prove it. Texas also has a mutual fishing license agreement with the states of Oklahoma and Louisiana. Uh, so this means that there are certain waters where residents from each state can fish without having to purchase an additional license. These include waters that span the borders of each state, such as the Sabine River, Caddo Lake, and Toledo Bend Reservoir. If you lose your fishing license, don't worry, there's really no need to panic. You can always buy a replacement at any licensed retailer. You'll just need to complete an application before purchasing a replacement and you're good to go. Last but not least, you'll need to know where and how to buy a Texas fishing license, obviously. The easiest way is to just buy one online, but you can also purchase them in Park and Wildlife Department offices and at more than 1,500 retailers statewide. All right, now that you have all the information you need, you can finally get out there and test out the waters of the Lone Star State. And for more information, just be sure to check out our full blog article that goes into more detail about purchasing a Texas State fishing license.